Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tranny and C. I'm Tranny, this is C. Today we have a video for y'all. Holiday gift ideas. Yeah, we've got the top, the five best holiday gift ideas for whiskey and the five worst holiday gift ideas for whiskeys. We're dabbling in whiskey every day basically in some facet or another whether we're searching online whether we're doing a video or whether we're just drinking it so we, we're well immersed in the do's and don'ts should That's you say right. of whiskey and we've received <clears throat> both we've received excellent gifts yeah and we've received ones that you know they're all coming from a good where, place People, where the thought counts the thought counts but yeah. in reality nah Forget yeah. about thought. You want to be remembered for being just... what? What's the hip word these days? Do kids still say epic? Sure. Yeah. Being yeah. the epic gift giver? Epic gift giver. Sure. I like it. I like it. So let's... <laughs> I just slipped off my chair. Thing a little... <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to... Let's, let's, let's go with the top five. The, the best top, five. The best? Okay, yeah. Let's go with sure. the best first. Okay. So first of all, we are going to pull out... Uh, let's do... Do you know what probably the best one would be? Sure. In reality, is an actual bottle of whiskey. Yeah, but, whiskey is great as a gift. But not just any whiskey. No. Nope. Because the thing is, there's been times where we're given like a bottle of Jack Daniels, say, which is fine. We love Jack Daniels, but we have it and we've tasted it. Another problem is people think that these flavored whiskeys are very original. Oh, a oh, yeah. honey whiskey oh, or apple. Oh, a vanilla oh, like whiskey. That. They'll love that. Well, you don't know what we'll love, so don't buy it. So one thing about buying whiskey for someone is get them something that is unique. Mm -hmm. um, not like a flavored whiskey unique, but like a single cask whiskey. Exactly. So yeah. show the people what so you got there. This here is a good example. Like. Anyone that wants to buy whiskey, look for the old malt cask because these yeah. are independent bottlings from Douglas Lang and Co. Yeah. And they're all different ones. This one's a Highland Park 23 year old. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the sort of thing that even if by the off chance the the person that's receiving the gift has this, yeah, they would not mind a second bottle. They'll be happy to have two. But yeah. I'm, the the reason that this is interesting is because it's single cask, so it's limited to like three hundred and ninety bottles. Exactly. Um, exactly. But so the, the, that's a the, good one. The thing about it too that's that makes it a really great gift is that it's a little bit pricier, but it's not so expensive and so exclusive that they're not going to open it. Exactly. You really want them to open it and try it and enjoy it, not put it in the collection to. To save forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. And if you're so lucky, they might even share it with you Christmas Day. That's right. Okay, okay. moving on to the next second. Number best. two. Number two. What we have here is... Got that? The oak barrel. whiskey barrel. The oak barrel. And this guy here is from Oak Barrels Limited. Yep. Um, you can go online. There's This is the one liter version. There's two liter. There's five. There's ten. And so That's on, and they get more expensive as time goes on, or as the size gets bigger, and um, the cost, obviously, you know. Hey, why don't you pour us a little dram? Okay. While we're here, sure. Pop the top. So you got to pop the top of this guy. But see, the interesting thing about this is that people can they can put sherry in this barrel. They could put vodka in this barrel. They could put their favorite or least favorite whiskey in this barrel, and it's going to enhance the flavor. Um, and you can kind of experiment and have a lot of fun with it. So, like, for example, right now we have honey shine in here. That's like a, basically a honey liquor. And we've taken what we were given and we've barreled it for about three months. And now it's absolutely and delicious. It's, now it's delicious. It had about three to six months age. age yeah. And now it tastes like it has at least two years. So the barrel can greatly um, influence... Mm the spirit that you put in it. So it's really interesting and people can have a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's really cool. And they're charred on the inside so it uh, releases some of those oaky sugar cask kind of things to it yep. with a little bit of smoke, which is nice. Okay. Okay, on to number three. I got number three right here. Sure. Number three, for the whiskey lover, Emily Mercedes artwork. So Emily oh, yeah. Mercedes paints whiskey bottles 
amongst other things. Um, here's her Pappy Van Winkle lineup. This is the five Pappy lineup. She actually has a six Pappy lineup that includes the rye. Wow. But um, the point is, she does this whiskey art. They're hand painted. You can get a so print. realistic looking. Yeah, you can get a print for a reasonable price. We'll put her website down there. And you can just go to her website, and she'll ship it direct to your house at a reasonable price. And then you can throw a frame on it, a little mat like this, and you have some gorgeous whiskey art. You can get somebody their favorite product, their favorite uh, brand. And she's easy to communicate with, um, you know, over the old internet machine. Yeah. And she's she, on Instagram. Yeah, you can you can ask for something specifically. I'm right. sure. Um, we are going to be putting ours up on the wall here very shortly. We have one left to be framed. Yeah. And then they'll be sitting on our walls permanently. So. Perfect for the man cave. Oh, big time! Yeah. Behind the bar, you know, behind the, in the man cave. So all, that's awesome uh, stuff. That's, that's number three. Three. Number four is, well, it's been right in front of you this entire time, this Whiskey Globe. Very so this thing, cool. Here, go ahead. Let's, let's open it up. This thing... It's like a... It's a bar cart, basically. Bar cart. You can put your whiskey in there. Like, example, this guy. Put that one right in there. And then you, you want your whiskey it. glasses. Oh, look. Look under my globe. I've got this bottle of whiskey. It's incredible. Exactly. I've got Very glasses, cool. Very cool. too. But this thing, in the, and there's storage on the bottom underneath, and it's got wheels on it. You can wheel it around. I mean, you just look <laughs> awesome. It looks cool. It looks like something Don Draper would have. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it was in Inglorious Bastards, too. There's something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the the bar cart, some kind of bar cart is pretty cool. Yeah, like, I mean, it is Even if cool. you can't get the globe. It's, it's nice to be able to wheel it around, too. Yeah. yeah. Wheeling around a bar cart, you got the, your liquor on. The, it just looks it's cool. Great. It's great. Okay. Um, our f number five for the the twenty eighteen nineteen season. Mm. I mean, we'll change this up next year. There'll be different items, but right now for twenty eighteen nineteen, these are the hot ticket items. Yeah. And the final one, speaking of hot tickets, is a ticket. Grab that ticket right down there. Boom. Buy somebody some festival tickets, whiskey festival tickets. You know, the connoisseur out there, or your your um. Uh, whiskey enthusiast yep. will appreciate if you get them tickets either to a festival or to a um, what do you call it like a like a master class master class or something yes. like that yeah something like that that's a lot of fun for a whiskey enthusiast you learn a lot of stuff you, you maybe meet some people like so many different varieties of the of one distillery a lot of the time and that's the cool thing yeah. is that if you don't know exactly what your whiskey enthusiast loves if they go to a festival they get to try so much stuff. Yeah. We, so, we went to one uh, last year where we thought the whole festival was in one room. But three quarters of the way through, we realized there was an entire other ballroom filled with whiskey. Yeah. So we're like, oh, now now time is pressing. Yeah. We got to try a lot, we have a to lot get more wasted whiskey. wasted super fast. Yeah. So, so, okay, those are the five top top ones. So that let's, you need to let's buy, run uh, through them one more time. So we got the Whiskey Globe. Right. We've got the whiskey ticket. We've got... Actual whiskey. Actual whiskey of uh, Old Malt yep. Cast Bottling. The barrel of whiskey. The barrel of whiskey. And... And... Emily the, Mercedes artwork. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Yes, okay. Now, this... Moving on. This portion of the show may be even more important than the first por portion of the show. This is true. It's... You don't want to get some... You don't want to be that person that got somebody the dud... Gift, no, no. or they're like, oh, uh, the thought, It's the thought that counts, kind yeah. of. Or gift. like, you weren't really thinking at all. So we're gonna start with the obvious. this one right here. So this one is whiskey stones. So drinking rocks. They're they're not a bad idea. I can see why people are into the idea of them because oh, you don't want to put actual ice in your whiskey. Sure. Um, but you still want to keep it cold. Where I'm of the opposite mindset. I'd rather my whiskey be at room temperature, okay. but have a couple drops of water in it. Okay. Um, the other thing is, you pull these out and smell them. They are gonna taint your whiskey like crazy. They smell like the box or the like bag, the, whatever they're, they're stored in. They seem to kind of uh, they're they're nice and smooth, but they're still porous. 
and they trap in whatever flavors that uh, they've been attached to for however long. But they've also them. been kind of like a thing for the last, I don't know, five or ten years. Yeah. And any whiskey enthusiast probably already has a set of them that they're not using. Or they have ten sets that they're not using. Well, that's a good point, because I think I have two or three I've that I've never opened. I also have at least yeah. two or three sets now that I've I don't use. Now I've got stuck in here and I can't close it. It's not Tetris. Um, <laughs> so anyway, whiskey stones. Don't buy them. At yeah. least... Not this year. Okay, um, number two. Gla- let's talk about glassware. Do Absolutely. not buy the Norlin whiskey glass. Show them, give them a little zoom of the kind of the double walled. So it's double walled. It's quite delicate. It's it feels like it might be it. It feels like it's got a good grip to it. But it's very light. It feels very breakable. It also does not give you a great nose for the whiskey. We've found that the the vapors or the the it just seems to escape. It does the, because becomes, the, the tulip style at the at the rim still goes wide like a yeah. uh, a tumbler glass. Yeah. So it's not perfect for nosing. It's a little tough to get a good nose off of it. The grip is a bit clunky and um they're pricey feels a little weak too overall looks like a candle holder um don't buy it get yourself a glencairn instead purchase a glencairn that's kind of like the runner-up for the best whiskey uh things you can buy yes, somebody because yeah. You can never really have enough Glencairn glasses. No. And you know what? You could buy some custom Trenny and C ones, in mm-hmm. fact. Okay. Moving right along, we have um, the Whiskey Wedge. Now, we don't have it here with us because we gave it away. Right. We had a Whiskey Wedge, and it's a kind of a square-shaped glass that has a wedge plastic mold yeah. in it. And you fill it up with water, and then you put the mold in there, and then you pull it out, and it... It's basically a glass with an ice wedge in it. But we found that after you have some whiskey in there for a while, that ice kind of comes unclung from from the glass, and the ice wedge drops on your face. It just bashes you right in the teeth. Every time we take a sip, it's like, oh, there's the wedge. If they don't already have lawsuits for chipped teeth, I mean, they're coming. So, So... It's, I mean, I guess the idea behind it is the surface area is greater, so it melts slower into your whiskey, but it's still the shape of it and everything is just, it does not work. We don't love it. Yeah. Okay. Next one. <laughs> right. Um, flavor sticks or aging sticks. You can, you can pull the, uh, the staves out of this package here. Okay. Go ahead. Show that. So this is... These are flavor sticks. Um, basically, what they are is the idea behind them is they they say they're like engineered perfectly. Yeah, sure. Blah blah blah, which means they just put some kind of like they drilled some holes in. They drilled some holes, holes in a piece of stave in a piece of oak. Then they've charred it to the max. Like, look at my fingers from yeah. touching these things. It's just they've it's just, just burnt some wood. They just really. burnt a bunch of wood. And then stuck in a package. It does not have any kind of specific smell. Just smells a little bit burnt. Anyways, the idea is you put them in your uh, your jar, or you would put it in an entire bottle. Yeah. And uh, age, age it, it for a certain amount of time, which would be like and, three days. And or we, you know, the idea behind it is fine. We get it, but invest in a little oak barrel instead. Yeah, this is the opposite of the oak barrel that we just told you about. Get the oak barrel. It actually does the job. Now, these things often come with, you know, flavoring on them. Yeah, like there's like a vanilla or, or mosquito or whatever. You know, they're they're gimmicky and they're kind of um, just fake and I don't know. It, they just it doesn't fly with us. No. Uh, we've tried it a few times in the experiments between those and the, the barrel. The barrel is... is there's there's is no, no comparison. No comparison. Okay. So the final thing is actually where these the final the the fifth worst idea. Um, this is, is actually the worst idea. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is the uh, I don't know if you can see it. 
This is the age your age own your own whiskey kit. Yeah. For fifty dollars. Yeah. Okay. This is fifty dollars. Well, what's what, what? What do you get for fifty dollars? Oh, let me tell you. Why don't you show? <laughs> a jar. Mason jar. Great. Mason jar. You hold that. Sure. Thanks. A, a fill, funnel. Funnel thing. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna pour my whiskey into my jar with my funnel. This. Oh God. Oh, the staves that go yeah. into the jar. To age it. Yeah. Okay. And then. A cheese the cloth. bag that held the staves is cheesecloth to filter your oh, already to filter your already filtered, filtered whiskey. Yeah, yeah. So it's just fifty dollars. You can get this entire kit. That's from like, about. from Walmart for about three three or four dollars. Yeah. Um, and if you can't get your own staves, you can kind of make your own, or go to like a a a beer and wine store, and they generally have. Um, oak chips of different styles. This is basically this is basically just a company mass producing a product based on whiskey's current um, popularity. Yeah, and just just extorting and like I mean it's just this is like something you would get at Urban Outfitters. Or like, and you know yeah. what? Sadly, like you know, there are people out there like my wife, she was trying to do a nice thing and she thought this would be really cool. This is a, a whiskey thought that counts it, kind of it again. It is a thought that counts. But the sad thing is is she got ripped off. Fifty bucks. You know, I would have way rather she bought me a bottle than a whiskey aging kit that we're clearly not going to use. Yeah. But it's a life lesson, which is great. Hey. We have it. It's been in the box for what? <laughs> a year. <laughs> a year. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyways we could have saved you some grief here and also maybe just made you like the hit of the Christmas party. Yeah, for sure. So these are all, this is the do's and don'ts. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah. If you have any suggestions of other things that people should or shouldn't buy, should or shouldn't buy then let's put it let's in the comments it. so that people, people will know, oh, okay, here's a great idea or, you know, stay away from this. It's very helpful to get kind of like the viewer's perspective. Absolutely. And hey, if we're wrong about something and you think the whiskey aging kit is amazing, well, tell us. Yeah, for sure. If you've had great luck with it and aged your whiskey, you've put your Pappy Van Winkle in that uh, mason jar and... <laughs> your 23-year-old Pappy Van Winkle. <laughs> on those sticks in it. Yeah, yeah. sure. All right. Cheers. Cheers. To a much better uh, honey shine. Happy holidays. Granny and C Drinking whiskey Describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish, scotch, bourbon, and rye. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Subscribe on YouTube.